I'm Greg Jarbo. We're here at SES Chicago 2011. I'm speaking with Brian Eisenberg. Brian, you were part of an interesting test lately. Do you want to share it with our audience? Yeah, so um, we did a study with uh, Jay Baer, uh, Paling Thorogood, and myself to identify if we gave marketers real-time search and social data in an interface that when they were writing, would they improve engagement? Would they improve conversion? Um, and we did a number of things. We took a retailer and we looked at how they, successful uh, some of their product pages were when they were rewritten, especially after post-Panda update. We took um, Jay Baer some, from the Convince and Convert blog and he rewrote some of his old posts and wrote some of his new posts using um, uh, this particular tool um, that we used for the study to make it easy. And we took um, a couple of PR companies that launched a couple of new sites to see how they would do with it. And bottom line is, when marketers have access to real-time search and social data, they increase conversions, increase engagement, increase in quality score, uh, increase in rankings. What happens, I think, the challenge that most marketers have, and, and we know this as, as search engine marketers, if you want to write copy that's search engine friendly, you have to go ahead, do the search engine keyword research, then go ahead and plug it into when you're writing. And, and it's, it's the distraction from one tool to the other that takes more time than people would have. Writing online press releases, same kind of thing. So if you have one interface, and now they also have a WordPress plugin, where literally as you're typing, it's ranking you determined on how well you're doing on, on your uh, keyword um, uh, strategy. Uh, it's making sure that you're using all the customer words from, um, uh, you can go ahead and list the, your three, let's say, top keywords you'd want, plus three of your competitors' websites. It'll all that data plus their data, and then show you how you should, which are the most important customer words to include in your copy. You do that, you're going to have much more successful copy. And, and the name of the site again is? It's called Inbound Writer, and get ready for this. It's free for up to like eight uh, documents and like $20 for unlimited documents. <laughs> free. Now, that's a, that's a marketing presentation. It's, that's, no, it's... That's, it's it, you know, there are other tools out there. There are tools like Scribe that help people as they're writing, in, uh, you know, SEO for some bloggers and stuff like that. And there's a couple of other tools. And of course, you know, there's a lot of SEO keyword tools and stuff like that. We're just saying, look, make sure you have the data when you're writing. Of course, if you can get it into a, a simple way where you can bring the data in as you're writing, just saves you a little bit more time. But at the bottom line is, most retailers, their copy has got hit hard after Panda because they're having generic copy. Most bloggers, they're not focusing in on using their customer words, they're focusing on the art of writing. Like, you're a writer, I'm a writer. You know, I don't necessarily focus with keywords. But while I'm writing, if I can just keep them keywords in mind a little bit, and it can help tweak it, we're gonna have a little bit better success with it. There you have it, a hot tip from SES Chicago 2011 from Brian Eisenberg, a New York Times bestselling author. Thank you very much. You're welcome, and also a Yankee fan, but pay no attention to that in New England. I'm a Red Sox fan, it's okay.